Hey church, it's me Chip again. We are in the middle of our What If series. We're re-looking, reimagining some of the Bible stories and asking what if. Yesterday, we were talking about what if Saul fought Goliath instead of David. Today, I want to ask the question, what if Lot's wife, who sadly was turned into a pillar of salt simply for looking back at her old life, what if she'd kept her focus? This is what the Bible says in Genesis chapter 19, verses 24 to 26. Then the Lord rained down burning sulfur on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. Thus he overthrew those cities in the entire plain, destroying all those living in the cities and also the vegetation in the land. But Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. Now, I know it sounds extreme, it sounds really odd, but when you start to understand God's attitude towards obedience and repentance, you know that there's a little bit more to this story. See, in the chapters leading up to it, it's pretty clear that the two cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and everybody that lived in them had fallen into deep depravity and wickedness. You could argue that both Lot and his family should have cleared out way before it got that bad, but... Isn't that exactly how sin works? Little by little, we convince ourselves, oh, it's not that bad until finally it all comes crashing down and we have to face up to the consequences of our actions and our inactions. On the flip side, when we're living in obedience to the call and the promises of God, turning our back on our old ways, we can truly be free of regret and guilt and when our focus is fixed, nothing can paralyze us from moving forward. If Lot's wife had simply severed ties to her past life, fully trusting that God had a better way, then she and her family could have avoided so many of the pitfalls that we read about in the following chapters. And so today, let's ask ourselves the question, what are we choosing to turn our back on? What are we focused on? that's moving us forward. I hope that encourages you. Don't be like Lot's wife, even for a moment glancing back, oh, the old way of living. No, that was death, that was decay, that was wickedness. Let's turn our back on that, let's get a word from God, and let's follow his call, let's be obedient to that call. I hope that blesses you like it blessed me to think about that, about Lot's wife. Tomorrow we're gonna be looking at what if Zacchaeus had been born taller <laughs> Remember Zacchaeus, the little guy who climbed up in the sycamore tree? So stay tuned and uh, w watch out for what's coming tomorrow. We're going to have a really good time. God bless you guys. I'm praying for you to have a great day.